Hey, what's going on guys? This is AZ Tech and uh, we are doing something a little bit different today. I know it's been a minute since we put up videos. Uh, honestly, just been really busy uh, working full time at my other job. Just haven't really had uh, much time. As you guys know, this channel is all about tactical, survival gear, stuff like that. But at the same time, I know a lot of the viewers, you know, come from uh, Chaos Riders. What our plan for the future is, is to uh, kind of combine a little bit of both. But what we actually want to do is uh, throw in, uh, you know, motor related videos like uh, installation videos, updates, also motor reviews and stuff like that. So we're going to mix it. It's going to be kind of like a mix of... Uh, you know, just moto, you know, doing upgrades, builds and stuff like that. And then at the same time, you know, keep up with the tactical, you know, AZ tech thing. So I hope you guys are okay with that. I hope you guys enjoy it. It would allow us to, you know, get a little bit more content out for you guys. And uh, we'll, you know, we'll do both, you know. So those of you that still, you know, like the tactical stuff, you know, it'll be there. Uh, it'll definitely be there. And then those of you that want to... Uh, watch some of the moto stuff um, that'll be there as well um, first off let me show you the bikes that I have uh, at the moment you know which is this is what we would be uh, working on maybe a couple upgrades um, first one that I have here is uh, my um, Indian Scout bobber I just picked this up not too long ago uh, maybe a few months back so I definitely want to do some upgrades on that uh, starting with the uh, seat i might be replacing the seat pretty soon i uh, also want to change the exhaust on it uh just a ton of different stuff uh, so we'll definitely you know keep you updated with that and uh see what we can do to this thing another thing is uh my quad here i've had this one the ltz 400 for i don't know i want to say maybe like six years now i've gotten to the point right now where i want to make it more of a street legal bike which is that's what I'm working on at the moment. I currently, you know, bought a new light here. As you can see, the old one broke. Uh, but the difference also is that this one actually has uh, turn signals. So it's going to have the uh, running light, the brake light, and then it has the turn signals on each side. And then I'll end up getting a play for this thing. Over here in the front, I do have uh, a set of blinkers that I have actually... I've installed them, but they're actually not hooked up, so we'll go over the hookup and everything like that. But uh, we'll do that on another video. Uh, as far as for today, you know, I have this uh, brand new uh, Rome mount. I do want to attach it to um, the motorcycle over there. So uh, we're going to open it up, see what's inside, install it, and then give you guys a uh, first impression of what I think about this uh, mount. Alright, so uh, hope you guys enjoy today's video. Alright, so as far as what's on the box, this is what it comes with. Uh, you have your clamp part of it here. We have a couple rubber pieces to protect your bars. You also have, I believe this goes right here around the ball. Uh, this would hook up right there. And then you have um, these rubber pieces, which depending on the size of your phone or whatever you're throwing on here, this is what would... Um, wrap around and really keep it secure so uh let's uh install this thing and see how quickly how easy it is to install all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mount this uh piece here this is what goes around the bars to clamp on the bars uh, as you notice it does have four little slots there you're going to choose whatever slot is best for uh, your handlebar so just depending on the thickness of your bar here uh, you're going to choose uh, whichever one is the the tightest uh, closest fit there uh, but before we put this on we do have a couple of uh, rubber uh, pieces here that go right on uh, <clears throat> on these uh, curved areas and this is going to stop um, this plastic piece from scratching up your bars so once you have those on there you can uh, put this around the bar there uh, pick one of those slots and then once you have it in place there you are going to have uh, two bolts here uh, it comes with uh, one that's slightly longer than the other one um, I'm going to try the shorter one first uh, because I think this is going to be you know pretty long uh, it should work just fine so we'll try the shorter one first and see how that goes You 
you know, once you have it a little snug there, uh, then you can kind of move it around to the spot where you want it. Uh, it's gonna, you know, you're gonna want the phone obviously facing you, so the little ball part here will be, you know, facing towards you, and then you can slide it up and down the bar, whichever uh, spot you prefer. So for now, I'm gonna leave it about this area right here, and uh, once we attach everything, we can uh, adjust it if we need to. All right, so next part of this install is gonna be for you to grab the, the rubber pieces here, and then you'll have to decide which one is best for you. Uh, just depending on the size of the phone, they come in different sizes. So I'm gonna choose the middle one. Actually, it looks like both of these are pretty much the same size, and then it has a smaller size here for smaller phones, but um, I'm gonna choose one of the bigger sizes, and you're gonna put that in first. Uh, right there where the little ball is. Um, second piece, um, you're gonna have the threading uh, nut, I guess, and that's gonna go right over the ball. And then for the last piece here, this is the clamp. This is where your cell phone is gonna go, and you're gonna pop that right into the ball there. Once that is in place, then you're gonna grab that nut, and then you're gonna thread it on there, you know, pretty tight there. And I believe as far as installation goes, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, you can swivel this around. Uh, if you need to change positions on this, you'll just have to loosen that, the, the first um, bolt there that we attached and then you can kind of move it around in place. Um, but as far as installation, that is pretty much it. It was super quick, plain and simple. Let me grab my cell phone and we'll see how it actually looks and fits on this thing. All right, so I have my cell phone here, and basically, you know, to install this, all you're gonna do is uh, stick the phone in there, you know, open up with these clamps, and uh, as far as leaving it like that, I'm pretty sure you're, you know, hitting a bump. It feels like it would probably fall off. If you're just cruising, you know, it might be okay, but I really wouldn't trust, trust it just like that, so you're definitely gonna want these rubber pieces. So as far as the rubber pieces go, you're just gonna stretch them over your phone there on uh, each corner you know once these are on there you know now that definitely definitely feels secure uh, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall uh, you can twist it to the side there if you need to you know go up and down uh, it definitely feels really good the only thing you got to watch out for is when you put your phone make sure these clamps on the sides they're not pushing on your buttons there um, you can just slide it up and down you know that way it, it's it's a good fit but um, you know, overall, it feels really, really good. Not too bad uh, as far as the install goes. It was, you know, just pretty quick and forward. Uh, fits really nicely. Uh, later on, I will compare it to one of the round mounts because I know those are the most popular ones. But uh, overall, uh, I'm definitely liking this. Definitely feels good quality. I am gonna also, you know, use it for a couple weeks before I give you guys an update if I had any issues with it. But overall, I'm gonna give this, um, Thumbs up, you know, it definitely feels good. And uh, as you notice over here, I do have a round, round mount ball, which I'll probably be installing a GoPro and stuff. So, you know, I'll give you some updates on that as well. But but that's it for today's video. Hope this helped you out. If you guys are looking for a mount uh, for your motorcycle, this is the Roam mount. Uh, this could be an option for you. This is a little bit cheaper than the um, round mounts. So if you're looking for something similar to the round mounts, but don't want to spend as much, this could be an option for you. Um, thank you guys so much for uh, checking out today's video. Like I said, we're gonna be doing a mix of moto stuff, also AZ tactical stuff. Uh, so watch out for those videos. And that was pretty much it. You guys, thank you guys for watching AZ Tech and we will catch you guys next time. Peace out.